Well, folks, these are our heroes. We've got two fire engines out here for grocery shopping. And the way they've got the parked, you think somebody's having a heart attack in there. Actually, they're just in there pushing shopping carts. All right, folks, so here's our heroes parked out in front of Stater Brothers. A couple people asked me if there was an emergency, and actually it looks like they're just going grocery shopping. You've got two units out here, and it's not an emergency call. What it is, it's a shopping trip. It's Saturday morning. It's probably been about 15 or 20 minutes. And this parking lot's really crammed, and they've got both of these units here blocking one lane. It's not an emergency, and they're here just shopping. This is the same group that uh, wouldn't back down on the union negotiations and they want all these all these extra men on these units and they don't want to back down even though the city's on the verge of insolvency. So they're here shopping and not, not with one car, not with one fire truck, but two. We're paying for this, folks. This is our tax money. We're out here in front of Stater Brothers in Fullerton. And this is really, really something. This is a very busy shopping center. It's got cramped quarters. And the uh, parking lot here is a busy one. And what we've got is we've got emergency vehicles that are parked out here. And it, it, like I said, a couple of people asked me if it's, if it's safe to go inside this, this store. You know, we've got cars that can't get by. It's kind of creating a hazard. We've got people that are waiting across the street, can't see around the cars. So this is a tremendous waste of taxpayer money right now, folks. This is the Fullerton Fire Department going shopping, taking their sweet time. We've got two units out here parked in front of Stater Brothers. And I guess they got all the time in the world to go shopping. You know, I've heard of dozing for dollars, but this is a new this is a new concept, folks. Let's see if they're done. Why not? So we're still waiting for them to come out. I don't know. Um if they're gonna ditch their shopping carts, because I'm out here, but we'll see. Um, a couple of them walked in, grabbed carts, so they're obviously grocery shopping. Nobody's dying inside this store. Nobody's hurt. What's going on here is just a simple, it's just a simple shopping trip, folks. It's just simple grocery shopping. That's all that's going on. Well, there goes one of them. That one arrived later. So maybe they only had to get a, 
maybe a six pack of soda or something, but let's see what's going on with these other guys here. They must be getting a lot of groceries. That one's pulling out. Obviously there's no call here. This is simply just a shopping trip. And as you can see, it blocks the view of this crosswalk here. It's kind of a hazard. Hey, anyway, I think this is a big deal, folks, because we just sat here and these guys are demanding four guys go out in each call. We don't have the money. The city's going to be broken five years if we don't really start cutting something. And look at this. These guys are grocery shopping still. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they're buying. But uh, I, I wonder if the city of Fullerton pays for all the groceries. I guess that's a good question. I mean, they get paid to sleep. They get paid overtime to sleep. And I'm not knocking this profession. I'm just saying there's a tremendous amount of waste involved. I wonder what the value of this rig is right here. How much this thing actually costs? Is it a multi-million dollar piece of equipment? I sure would like to know. Anyway, we'll find out what's going on here. and. Obviously, there's no emergency. Nobody came out of here with any emergency medical equipment, and they didn't walk in with any. So what we've got here is just people just going about their business as if they can use a $2 million uh, car to go grocery shopping. And, you know, whether this is legal or not, folks, is not the point. The point is, is this profession is overrated in terms of its importance. You know, a lot of communities have volunteer fire departments and they get by just fine. When's the last time you saw a house burn down in Fullerton? I know this, I know that there was a fire station that burned down in Buena Park that was occupied by firemen and they couldn't save it. So I don't understand why people worship these people as if they were God. It's very interesting. I know that, you know, they have this reputation of saving people that are injured in a burning building, but quite frankly, folks, the amount of money that's involved in this expenditure by the taxpayers does not warrant uh, it's not it's simply not warranted so a lot of people are going into the store thinking there's an emergency in there when in fact it's simply just another shopping trip so once again we're out here in front of Stater Brothers in Fullerton California off of Baston Sherry and we're just sitting here trying to figure out uh, what the uh, circumstances are and uh, why we've got this vehicle parked here for so long. I mean, I've been here for over 20, 25 minutes. And I guess the question is, if both of the units were here from the station that's close to here, who's available to respond if they're in there pushing a, pushing a grocery cart? You know, I mean, that's, that's an interesting question. I had somebody come by and say, why are you filming this? And I said, why not? Could be an aficionado of the uh, fire department. Could be a Fullerton fire personnel, possibly. But we're in a public place, folks. This is perfectly legal to do. There's no reasonable expectation of privacy in a parking lot. So we're still waiting and it looks like the heroes are coming out right now. So are they carrying a stretcher? Let's see what they got here. There's four of them. And it looks like they just got a few bags of groceries. So ladies and gentlemen, here comes our heroes. Looks like they're getting some soda, a whole bunch of soda. Like a bunch of it. Yeah, they just went in there for sodas. So I guess after all this, it's not an emergency, folks. I guess it's just a soda run. So we've got two units here for a grocery store run, ladies and gentlemen. It probably encompassed about 30 minutes of taxpayer time. This is Joe Briano out in front of Stater Brothers in Fullerton, California, exposing more of the scam that's running Fullerton off the fiscal cliff into the ground, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going to stand for it. Fullertoninformer.com.